This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, Shalom Aleichem everyone. Baruch HaMabohem to today's Tomer Devorah. We're in Parak Zion. And we're up to the third way in which one uh, should be margled themselves with the Midah of Tiferes. Now, there is no doubt the Tomer Devorah says that the Midah of Tiferes is Isek Batoira. However, the Tomer Devorah says one has to be very careful that when one learns Torah, he is not misgoya in his learning, otherwise it will cause that the Torah will ascend higher and separate from this world, and will not allow Tiferes to be mashpia on Malchus. Now Malchus, as we're going to see, is called the Nekeva, and the Ania, the poor woman, and the Torah Devara, and the first reason why one should not be misgoya is he says that Tiferes will be Mizgoya over Netzach and Hoid, which are the students of Tiferes. And therefore one should be careful to uh, teach their students um, in accordance with their level and not be haughty over them. In the second method, and the second way where the Torah Devara says that one should not be haughty over their, um, in learning Torah, is we don't want Tiferes to be Mizgoya over Yisoid. And in the second means, the Talmud Devarah says that one should be very careful not to be arrogant in their Torah learning over the Ani, or be mevazeh the Ani, like in the story of Rabbi Shimon Alazar and Eliyahu, because by being mezgoya over an Ani, by being arrogant over an Ani, then it causes Tiferes to be mezgoya over Yesoid, which is called the Ani. However, today we're going to learn the third method, and that is Shlishas, the third way. And is, this is, one should not be mezgoya over the aniya. What does this mean? Ha-mezgoya b'tayrasa el ara One who is arrogant in their Torah over the Ami Ha'aretz. Shehu klal am Hashem, which is the nation of Hashem in general. Goyreim sha tiferes is goya me'ala malchus. He causes that tiferes should be elevated over malchus. And then tiferes will not be able to be mashpia to malchus. And he won't be able to influence it. And said one's mindset should be uh, assimilated, so to speak. One should get along uh, with others. And all people who act in a civilized manner should be important before them. Because they are below in the secret of the earth. Now, Oretz is a reference to Malchus. So in other words, when somebody does not act arrogant over Amei Ha'aretz, then Tiferes will not be arrogant over what is known as... Um, what, then Tiferes will not be arrogant over Malchus. So what a Talmud Chacham is to an Amei Ha'aretz, Tiferes is to Malchus. Malchus is called Aretz. The chas v'shalom, and heaven forbid, im koyre oisam chamoyrem, if he calls them donkeys, if a tamachacham refers to Ami Aretz as donkeys, then what you do is moiride melaklipois, you lower the Ami Aretz to the dark side. And Rav Goldberg points out, very interestingly, from here we see that the words of a tamachacham are effective and have power and have koyach, and one could actually cause in their words the descent of the Amayaretz to a lower level. In other words, by speaking to an Amayaretz, by speaking badly of an Amayaretz, you actually lower them. That's what the uh, Rav Goldberg writes in Sivkat Yud Beis. In other words, the words of, of the Tamil Chachm actually have influence and can cause a descent in the status of an Amayaretz, and therefore you should not call them a donkey. Now it's interesting. The Gemara tells us in, I believe, Nadarim, that if somebody bemeans, demeans, excuse me, a Amaretz, they could lose their opportunity to uh, have children who are Tamid Chachamim. Uh, that's what the Gemara says in the Dharma da Pe Aleph. The Gemara says, Why sometimes Tamil Chachamim are not Zoycha to have children or Tamil Chachamim? Rav Ashi says, Because they call people donkeys. 
Meaning one should never demean uh, even an Amaaretz because uh, that could affect uh, the status of their children's uh, learning Torah. Kedisa be Gemara, like we find in the Gemara. Ela Yisnaig Imam Benachas. One should deal with Amei Aretz gently. Al Pidarkam. Commensurate with their path. Kein Ha Tiferes. Like Tiferes, which is Mashpia, to Malchus. And even though Malchus is called Aretz, and even though Malchus is called like Isha, a, a poor woman, Uman Higa, Kafianios Daita. And Tiferes guides. Malchus, in accordance with its poor mindset. Ki daiton shal noshim kala. There is a concept in the Gemara, the minds of women are weak. Okay, so don't ask me to explain that right now. But the Gemara says that uh, women are considered to have daiton kala. And that's an analogy to Malchus. Malchus is the ania, And since Malchus is the ania, nevertheless, Tiferes deals with her according to her state. Uvechlauze, Included in this is Shlo Yizgoy al Kol Chalushe Adas. One should not be arrogant over any weak-minded person. Shehem Bechlal Afar Arts. They are included in the dust of the land. Umim Nezeh because of this. Hakad Moinim Loi Hayu Mizgoy and Batayra. The early authorities would not be arrogant in their Torah learning. Kuvdo de Rav Hamnuna, like the story of Rav Hamnuna, but Parshas Bereishis. In Parshas Bereshis we find about Rav Hamnuna that he hid his uh, identity in order not to get Hana from his status of being a Tamil Chacham. Uchovda de Rav Chagai. And like the story of Rav Chagai. The story of Rav Chagai, they, they asked him, Rav Chagai, what's your name? He didn't want to say my name is Rav Chagai because he didn't want to take honor in his status of being a Tamil Chacham. Uvatikunim. In the Kunei Zayar we find that who's Saba de Bol and Ashkele when the Rajbi wanted to kiss a certain Tamar Chacham, Parach, the Tamar Chacham, ran away. Because Shlo HaYoroitzel is Gois, but the Beit Torah, he did not want to take uh, benefit in his Torah knowledge. So from here, uh, we learn an important idea that one should not be arrogant over Ame Haaretz. Now the Gemara in Chulin compares the status of Ame Haaretz and Tamei Chachamim and all of Klai Yisrael to uh, various parts of a cluster of grapes. The Gemara in Chulun Sadi Bey says, Amr Rav Shimon Bar Lakish. Klai Yisrael is compared to a Geffen. The cluster, the Zemoyrois, the, the vine, are the Balei Batim, which are those who do Chesed. The cluster of grapes are the Tamei Chachamim. The leaves are the Amei Haaretz. The Kenoi Kenois are the empty Jews. But each one of them has a function. Because uh, the, the Gemara says, they sent a message. Why don't the, the Chachamim Davin, that the Amei Aretz should uh, disappear? And the Gemara says, no, we need them. Because otherwise the, uh, the cluster cannot exist. Because even though the leaves are not edible, but the leaves protect the grape uh, and the cluster from being uh, smitten by the sun and the wind. So Amei Aretz serve a very important function. And we'll elaborate that uh, Bez Hashem Monday from the Rambam and from others, but we'll hold it over here. So again, the three methods, the three aspects of where a person has to be careful not to be Mizgoya, one should not be Mizgoya over their Talmidim, which is Teferas over Netzach and Hoid. One should be careful not to be Mizgoya over the Ani, which is Teferas being Mizgoya over Yesoid. And one should be careful not to be Mizgoya over Amei Aretz, which is Teferes being Mizgoya over Malchus. And Bez Hashem, we will continue Monday. Wishing everyone a great Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.